Hey, what's up, guys? Stephson 1993 or Mad Money Banks on YouTube. Right here, we got the Modern Warfare 3 headset from Turtle Beach. Now, these are the same headsets as, headsets as the PX5s or the PX500s for the Xbox, but it has Call of Duty logos on it and stuff. So today, I'm about to unbox it for you guys. It comes in this really cool Air Force Delta case. It has a handle and everything, so you can carry it. You can see the headset in there. On the sides and back, it's mostly explaining it. It has some really cool designs on it, and it is also wireless. That, that helps a lot. So let's take this stuff off, and let's start the unboxing. Start by ripping this first part off. This cover wraps around the whole thing, and, and most stores don't have it on a um, security tag, so then nobody can steal it, because these will run you up to three hundred dollars now we just take that first part off and you got the headset and the transmitter right there with this headset it has a 7.1 surround sound custom programmable MW3 presets which means like you can set it so you can hear the people's footsteps better or you want to hear the surround sound better you know you can set it to your preference then also has two dual pairing Bluetooth for wireless chat digital RF wireless game sound and custom Call of Duty voice prompts which that is pretty cool because the PX5 do not have that so that's pretty cool to have on there sonic lenses with sound field expander I don't know what all that means but I'm pretty sure that pretty much just goes in with the sound Dynamic chat boost and microphone monitor. Microphone monitor is so you can actually hear your own voice while you're talking. So you know what everybody else is hearing from your mic. And that's good for me because then I can record and you can hear the game sounds and my voice equally. So then you got the sonic silencers which eliminates background noises for your mic and online chat. And, and it also works for the Xbox 360. I'll be using it for the PS3. But the Xbox 360, I'll be able to use it too if, if I, when I do go on there. So, alright, let's start with this unboxing. So, as you can see, we have the transmitter down the middle. The headset around. It comes with a battery pack and some wires that are located inside it. Let's open this. The case is pretty solid. It's a pretty nice case. As you can hear that it was very strong and hard to get open right there but it seems like this case is very reusable if you want to use it again for anything but they also have ties right here that I'll need to cut so let me do that real quick the ties were actually really strong it would the knife would not go through them and, and scissors were too large to even fit to cut them so I finally got them off after about five minutes of wrestling with it so now we got it open Nice clear top. And these are the PX90s. I mean, I'm sorry, not PX90s. These are the Modern Warfare 3 headsets. They're exactly the same as the X5s, the PX5s. If any of you got it, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about it for yourself. I will be trying these out online and everything, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it for my update video. But right here, it's a nice film on it it looks like it's packed in pretty nice with some foam to keep everything nice and comfortable because this is an expensive item and they do not want it breaking on anyone although I did get the warranty because you know PX I mean Turtle Beaches do have a little history of kind of blowing the speakers if you keep the volume up too high so let's see if we peel this film apart on the back pocket we have this it looks like a disc disc set maybe or a booklet you open that and it comes with some stickers for your headset you got turtle beach engineered for gaming you have stop or aret i'm thinking aret is maybe another language i don't know but then you got the booklets for it you got Spanish and English for all my Spanish speakers out there. These booklets are mostly just filled with instructions of how to use it. 
you know, same old, same old stuff. And then you got your notes page for anything you want to jot down for your headset. Then you have a downloadable code on the back of this. I won't show you my code because I don't want anybody stealing it. But it's a code right under my thumb. And that is so you can access bonus Modern Warfare 3 content, which is really cool. So let's move this stuff to the side right now and grab this headset. Now the headset, it looks very comfortable, it looks very cool. This foam is kind of in my way right now, so. But you can't peel it, it's kind of stuck there until you take everything out one at a time. So let's peel this green film off and we'll throw this to the side. You got the headset right here, it's a detachable headset. Okay, so in the box you have, in this little foam, I guess, thing that comes with it, you have your battery set of batteries, most likely cheap batteries, I'm sure they're not going to last too long. Next up, you have your transmitter. This transmitter is, I hear, for Xbox, so you can speak, and they, I, I think it is so, you're, if you're in a chat, they can hear you better or something like that, so it's wireless. This is for Xbox only, I don't think I need it for PS3. So, move on to the next thing. Next you have, it looks like another optical cable. If you are going to be using your optical adapter, I mean your optical ports, they gave you a free optical cable and a volume adjuster for your Xbox controller. It sticks right into your Xbox controller and into the headset itself. Then you have your power cord all wrapped up nice and tight. That's simple. You just plug it in to where you're going to be keeping your transmitter. And lastly, you get a free USB cable. It's looking nice. It looks very durable, actually. It feels really good, too. It's got the Call of Duty Delta sign. A nice headset. Power button's located right here. And then you got a real comfortable cushions for your head and ear muffs. Now these turn outward like this so then you can set it on your shoulder when you're playing the game. And it doesn't, it's, it's less likely for it to break if it folds in like this. But then you got the headset that bends to wherever you want to place it. You can bend it as much as you want. That's pretty cool. So let's set this right here and check out the rest of the box and the transmitter. Alright, so this transmitter is, so it can be wireless, you can set the headset right on top of it. The transmitter is not that large, which is a good thing, it doesn't get in the way. It has the Call of Duty logos and stuff on it, and it actually is not plastic. It has some kind of, what, how do I put it, some kind of paper where it's really kind of rough and it feels good. It's bumpy and you can actually feel the outline of this tree. And the Call of Duty, it's, it's, you can tell that this is not a cheap transmitter. And you can kind of feel all the etchings of Turtle Beach and Call of Duty on the other side and the symbol. You can feel it. It's really, it's really nice. Then you have your headphone jack, your volume, your headsets, if you want to put some headphones in there, if you want to listen to your music or anything, you can place that in there and listen to it. Then you have the power, and that's the power button, the, the DC 9 volt uh, power adapter. You got the volume right here again. And you have these LNR uh, red and white ports, so you can plug up your sound. And you have the optical ports also, if you want to listen and through an optical cable. So, set this down right here. As you can see, it looks really nice with the headphones on top. It looks just like this, which is really cool. It keeps everything really neat, and that's always the best thing because you don't want wires everywhere. It's it's a it's a load of things to clean up if you have wires just laying around everywhere. So it's nice to keep everything nice and neat in one little place. So then. 
of detachable headset. Let's see. This headset, you detach it by just pulling on it and it comes apart and then you have a normal jack as if you were listening to headphones or something but it's a microphone. You plug it right back in there when you're done. And it goes right in. On the bottom of the headset, you have a USB port right here. After that, you have the Xbox port if you want to plug up your Xbox controller to chat. And you have your presets, which are presets. You can download your presets into them through the USB port. And that will give you this button just to press to change the presets. Then you have your your game game volume then you have your game volume last right up here now on the other head on the other muff earphone muff you have your main preset then you have your mic so you can mute it the indicator for when your microphone is on and I don't know exactly what this button is but it, I'm sure that's probably free sound and another volume adjuster Okay, so overall, I tried the headset on, and it's pretty nice. It's very comfortable for long, long game plays and everything. All that is really good for hardcore gamers. The air must actually go fully around my ears, and it feels really comfortable. And it's overall a good buy for me. I will make a review video telling you how the sound is and how great it is or how bad it is, because I will not lie. And that's it for right now, so I'll see you guys later. It's been Mad Money Banks. Peace. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can click the left square for the last video, the right square for the next video, the middle square for a mystery video, and you can add me on Facebook or Twitter, and also PlayStation or Xbox. And unless you have a small penis, subscribe.